Let's get to our next question. This was sent in on Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from Wrestling Memes. Corny, if Bruno San Martino would have come back to be Hulk Hogan's tag team partner at WrestleMania 1, would that have been bigger than Mr. T as far as the number of closed circuit ticket sales? Who else could have been used as Hulk's partner? Well, God, and that would have been a. Could you imagine trying to talk Bruno into that whole situation? Um, I don't think it would have added to the closed circuit, except maybe in the Northeast, because Bruno was still a bigger name in the Northeast than Hulk Hogan was by by far at that point in time. Yeah, but for the rest of the country, the gimmick of seeing a a TV star that they believed was and a movie star that they believed was also a tough guy was probably more important for the box office and they'd never seen him wrestle if they'd seen him because remember you know they they got bad with that match but then the next year the boxing match with piper was abysmal and did he do anything after that uh he came back in 87 and did some guest referee stuff yeah but i mean he didn't wrestle and the point is it, it the tease of seeing the big tv and movie star that was marketed as a badass even though it was all you know promotion uh, was more important to the national gate than any big wrestling star would have been to the national gate at that time, because it was still the territory days. And I don't know any one person they could have got that would have been big in every single market in every single area of the country, as much as the intrigue of seeing, you know, Mr. T that we've never seen wrestle before wrestle. And of course, after they saw him wrestle, there was not much clamor to see it again. But the first time around, no, that was I, I can see what they were going for, and it worked, obviously. Uh, but having Bruno on the card, because remember, uh, people forget that WrestleMania 1 was a success, and people still remember, you know, and it started a tradition, et cetera, but oh, it was a, an overall success, but not every market, and a lot of the markets got canceled beforehand. They didn't even, uh, that had booked for the closed circuit, they didn't air them, and not all the ones that they did air did well. Bruno's name on the card in some fashion probably would have added, you know, money to the to the gates of the Northeastern, Boston, Philadelphia, New York. He was on Pittsburgh. the card in some fashion. Was he on, was he on WrestleMania 1? Yeah, because originally I believe the match was going to be... I want to say Brutus Beefcake versus Hillbilly Jim, and then Hillbilly Jim broke his leg. So it became Hillbilly Jim, uh, excuse me, so it became Brutus Beefcake with Johnny Valiant against David San Martino with Bruno. Oh, okay. okay so you got Bruno right. well, ringside, and then eventually, and he got one of the biggest pops of the night just yeah. for being a ringside, and then eventually he got physical towards the end of the match. Yeah, but he wasn't advertised to wrestle. No, he was advertised yeah, so, to be there. Yeah. Unfortunately, this isn't a slight to David San Martino, but. David San Martino or Bruno as his manager, everyone wanted to see Bruno San Martino in that yeah. building. But like you said, Bruno didn't have the national presence. That was what Mr. T gave you. He gave you the crossover appeal and nationwide appeal more than Bruno San Martino would. Bruno San Martino would have maybe boosted the closed circuits in Boston, Philadelphia, and you know the New York yeah. state area, but it wouldn't have meant as much in Los Angeles. So there you have it. So there you have it.